Welcome back to Health Matters. As our nation's population ages, more people will undergo hip replacement surgery. But when younger patients need a new hip, normal long-term wear and tear can become a problem. In our innovation segment this week, good news for young patients. A Jacksonville orthopedic surgeon is part of a design team that has developed a new, much shorter prosthesis that solves a lot of long-term problems. No one expects hip replacement surgery at age 30, but a barrel racing injury landed Brandy Sapp in the operating room. And I come out of the catch pen and my horse crow hopped. And crow hop means when she hops in a different direction. Well, my body went right and she went left and I pulled with my left leg back onto the saddle. And once I've done that, my leg apparently pulled apart and came back together. At first, emergency room doctors told her she had only pulled her groin, but it turns out that her hip was broken. Because the injury went untreated, the hip became severely infected. Dr. Stanton Longenecker, an orthopedic surgeon, was able to diagnose the problem. He treated the infection and then fitted SAP with a newly designed hip implant, the Revelation Short Stem. She needed something in her that was going to help her rebuild what she had lost. She had lost bone mass. She hadn't been able to walk on that thing for a long time. And I selected this implant because I think it gave her the best possible chance to rebuild the bone stock that she had lost. And I think that's already showing up on x-ray. This is the second model of the Revelation implant. The first looks nearly identical but is longer and causes thigh pain in some patients. I created this model for my patients to show them why we might have thigh pain. And if you watch this closely, as I bend this, you can see that implant actually move inside the bone. We felt that we could go a little bit shorter and take advantage of the fact that most of the fixation is in the upper part of the bone. Patients in the trials of the new shorter revelation have no thigh pain. That's because the prosthesis more closely mimics a natural hip joint. The implant has a flared top, just like the upper part of a normal femur. It fits snugly inside the bone, putting the patient's weight on the top, rather than putting stress down the leg. And the bone actually grows into tiny holes in the implant, creating a better fit. Initial hip replacements were straight, and they were cemented in place. Bone and Growth says there's a pore structure here, there's a, the actual implant there, and bone literally goes in and around and through and locks onto the pores. As best we can predict, this implant has the greatest potential to one, survive, and two, survive unscathed by the loss of bone mass. And for younger patients like Brandy Sapp, that means they'll be able to continue to live an active lifestyle. I walked yesterday after surgery to the chair and back through the chair. I haven't been able to walk for like seven months. And, to, and I opened my leg finally, my left leg, and bent it a little bit, and that was really awesome because I have not been able to do that at all. I'm not in any pain at all. That's I cool. didn't think I'd be up moving fast as I am. Dr. Longenecker believes SAP's new hip will last more than 30 years. Right now, surgeons around the country are being trained to implant the new prosthesis. That's all the time we have for now. Thank you for watching Health Matters. For more information, visit our website, wjct.org slash healthmatters. I'm Karen Fagans, and we'll see you again next week.